calm down, bro. You're like not even cool. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna do a video about my most scary experience ever. So when I was nine, I went to Africa. Yeah, Africa. I went to Kenya. While I was there, we were gonna go like across this lake or like this uh, like river or something, I don't know. We were gonna use a ferry to get across it and the ferries came like every 15 minutes. And so as we were waiting, we were just like in this like, like fenced little like house thingy or whatever with like a roof over it and then there's like a TV. And so the TV was playing this one show called Just For Laughs Gags. Yeah, so we are just like watching that and uh, my TV just turned off. So while everyone's just watching the show in there, being all peaceful and everything, all of a sudden, we just hear this loud pop. We're just like, holy crap! And like all these like Africans and stuff are just like yelling, <laughs> sorry. It's okay for me to say it, I'm African. And then after that, everybody just like pauses and just like stares like meerkats, just like. Everyone's just like, what the hell just happened? Then, one idiot, one idiot in the crowd, one stupid, dumb, Idiot! This guy, he just goes, this one guy, he just goes <laughs> And then everyone starts running! The thing that we were in was just like fence, like this concrete fence thing And so everybody was just like hopping the fence and getting out of there My mom, she like lifted me over it and like made me go head first down it And she was like lowering me down really really slowly and like Mom, hurry up! <sighs> but she didn't want me to fall or whatever. And after I go over it, my mom just hops it and I'm like, Oh dang, mom's a ninja! Then yeah, my sister hops it and everyone hops it. And we just like run to the ferry, which just got there. Yeah, and everyone was just freaking out on the ferry. So my mom and I are just like alone. We like lose my sister and my aunt who also came with us to Africa. Then we just like find them when we're on the ferry. Then my sister, she loses one of her sandals that she brought with her from America. It's like really expensive, nice sandals. Then we're just like, oh crap, I guess you lost your sandal. But then, then we see this one lady. She's just wearing my sister's sandal and she was also wearing another sandal like some red flip-flop we're just like yo what the heck then my mom's just like hey can my daughter get her sandal back please she's kind of losing one and then she's like uh, I don't know if I can do that I, I, I would only be left with one if I did that we're just like bitch but then yeah we were like Americans so we had money we just paid her to give the sandal back. So anyway, back to me. I'm just like sitting there just like freaking terrified and traumatized, dude. I was just like so messed up for the rest of the ferry ride and pretty much for the rest of the day. I just could not move. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it of my scariest experience. And you know, we actually later found out what that pop was. It was just like an electrical wire that just like exploded out of nowhere. Are you kidding me? Finally. Dang it, I forgot where I was. Yeah, so uh, then for the rest of the trip, we just like, it was pretty cool. I got bit by a monkey for holding a handful of peanuts, and I just got pissed, and I was like, no! And I just threw the peanuts at its freaking face. You'll freaking bite me? A freaking monkey bit me in Africa. Also, we went to this like zoo place, and there was like a freaking leopard behind this chain link fence. We we're just like, what? And like, um, someone like just like starts taking pictures next to the chain link fence with the freaking leopard, and I'm just like, holy crap, freaking Africans, they are like one with the animal, not even afraid. Like, what? So my mom, she tells me to take a picture with this freaking leopard on the other side of this super weak chain link fence. What the heck, it's all rusty and stuff? So when I sat down next to the fence to take the picture with it, my mom, she's like, she's about to take the picture, right? Then all of a sudden, the leopard just hops up and hits the chain link fence and tries to freaking rip it down. I'm like, holy crap, and I just ran away from that. There are all these like kids and stuff, they were like on a field trip or whatever, they just laughed at me and stuff, man. Man, that was a mess of experience, holy crap. <sighs> So anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd give you those, like, two little extra things about the monkey and the leopard. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it about the crazy stuff that happened to me in Africa. I almost got hit by a car there, too. Yeah, it was pretty messed up. And so, yeah, remember to like, please, very much please like, comment if you want, and just, like, check out my other videos, please, if you haven't already, to see if you want to subscribe. And hopefully you do subscribe. I'm not just gonna tell you to subscribe like many other YouTubers do. Like when they go like this, like, comment, and subscribe. Like, bro, don't tell me to subscribe. Don't tell me to subscribe. I'll subscribe if I want to, bro. First off, fuck your bitch in the click. Yeah, then I just end up checking out the rest of their videos, then I subscribe. So I'm just telling my own viewers, if I have any viewers really at all, to just 
check out my other videos and just decide if you want to subscribe. I know they're not like, you know, telling you to subscribe, but it just seems too demanding for me. But I, you know, I, I subscribe anyway. So yeah, um, just check out my other videos to see if you want to subscribe, and hopefully you do subscribe. So peace out! <laughs>